Hi, I'm Tom Farmer, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel reading from John 16 is an interesting one. Uh, Jesus says to his disciples, a little while and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, what does this mean that he's saying to us? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they said, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. Lord, speak to us. Friends, brothers and sisters, what this passage is teaching us is to see the big picture and be patient. And... Um, not worry that we feel left on this world by ourselves. Now, Jesus knows our nature. We worry, don't we, us humans? Yeah, we worry. We get anxious. We get afraid. We think everything's going to go bad in this world. This, the election didn't go the way we wanted it to. The economy's bad. We have a pandemic. Blah, blah, blah. So many things to complain about and worry about. What's Jesus telling us today in this passage? He said, guys, if I was with you, sure, you'd feel more uh, at peace, I suppose. But I'm not going to be gone for very long. I'll be back very shortly. So when Jesus said to them, a little while and I will... Uh, no longer be with you, and then a little while later, and you'll see me again. Um, they're wondering, like, is this like, what do you mean a little while? Like, like for five minutes, five days, five months, five years, you know. Uh, they didn't know how long he was going to live. So what does he mean by that? And then, and then how long will he be gone? When's he going to leave, and, and when's he going to come back? So Jesus is referring to his ascension. Uh, this reading is for the Feast of the Ascension. And he's also talking about his return. And he wants us to not get too worried about how long he's away. Did you ever play peekaboo with your baby or with your little nieces and nephews when they're little kids? You know, peekaboo, right? Peekaboo. It's, it's great fun uh, as an adult to do that with little babies, right? Because... Uh, when you when you cover up your face, they really like. Where are you? Where are you? you know, they don't. They want to see your smile. And then when you peekaboo, you see them again. Then they're so happy. They laugh. They're very happy. Very very happy. I bet you don't remember when you were a baby and your mom or your dad played peekaboo with you. Um, but you know, I think from the baby's perspective, there is a moment of fear and worry. Like, where's mommy? Where's daddy? And then, yep, I'm back. So I wasn't gone very long, was I? Just a few seconds. Isn't it true that when we're babysitting and we have to step out, uh, someone's at the door or whatever, we just say, hey, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. So we want to ensure people we're not going to be gone very long. We'll be back sh shortly. We'll be back in just a minute, just, just a moment. Okay. Um, this is very common, very common. When we tell people that we have to step out, even if we know it's for two hours, don't we say, hey, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I just have to take care of something. This is the way Jesus is talking to us in this passage. He's saying, a little while and, um, what does he say here? A little while and you'll no longer see me. And again, a little while later and you will see me. So he says, a little while. Just like we say to little kids, you know, we don't have a sense of time. Well, hey, compared to God who is eternal, do we really have a sense of time? Not like God's sense of time. So he's just giving us that assurance to not worry, worry too much. 
So next time you feel like, oh, Lord, come, we need you. Uh, this world is falling apart. Uh, everything's going wrong. He'll be right there. He'll be right there. Okay? I think that's really the message of this passage here. And, uh, yeah, uh, amen. He says, amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. So it seems like the worldly mindset of things and um, uh, materialism and flesh and worshiping idols and things, it just seems like the world is rejoicing in its own system. And we mourn and, and, and weep. Yeah, it's true. We grieve. We feel the pain of um, uh, not having God fully here. This is not fully the kingdom of God in this world. But you know what, brothers and sisters? He'll be right back. He'll be right yeah. He told us he'll be right back, didn't he? John 16, 16 to 20. Essentially, read it again and see if you can hear the Lord say to you, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You won't be there. Okay. It's a little bit of an Advent message, but it kind of goes with the ascension. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in heaven with the Father. Uh, he hears our prayers. He'll be happy. God bless you. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.